सकता हूँ तो ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज ऑर्गेनाइज बाई डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एस एम डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर योला टूडेज टॉपिक इज पॉलिनोमियल डेरेवेटिव ऑफ दिस फंक्शन द पॉइंट्स कवर पॉइंट वन इज द पॉलिनोमियल डेरेवेटिव ऑफ द लिनियर बार एलिमेंट एंड पॉलिनोमियल डेरेवेटिव of the quadratic bar element the polynomial derivative and you can see when the derivative of the required polynomial for linear bar element and quadratic bar element the figure shows a linear bar element having two nodes node 1 and node 2 the node 1 is fixed and the this um, u1 and u2 are the individual deflections at the node 1 and 2 respectively then the l is the length of the element and the x is the coordinate of the element is one directional bar element so x is the only one one direction coordinate two noded element is shown in the figure the nodes are numbered as 1 and 2 starting with fix n is node 1 is fix the polynomial for one dimensional element in terms of displacement is given by u of x is equal to c1 plus c2x let it as equation 1 but u of x is equal to edward u1 plus n2 u2 give it as equation number 2 Whether n1 and n2 are the shape functions, we have seen this equation in shape functions session. Now putting the boundary conditions at x is equal to zero, u of x is equal to u1, or we can say that u1 is equal to c1, and at x is equal to l, u of l is equal to c1 plus c2 l, or u2 is equal to u1 plus c2 l. Or we can obtain c two is equal to u two minus u one divided by l. Therefore, u of x is equal to u one plus u two minus u one divided by l into x. Or u of x is equal to one minus x upon l u one plus x upon l u two. Then It is equation three, and the displacement is given by one minus x upon l into u one plus x upon l into u two. Comparing this equation three with this equation number two, we obtain n one is equal to one minus x by l, and n two is equal to x upon l. These are the two shape functions we obtain for linear bar element. With the help of polynomial derivative, where the polynomial is u of x is equal to c one plus c two x. Similarly, we can obtain the polynomial derivative of quadratic bar element. The quadratic bar element is shown in the figure having three nodes. Node one, node two, and node three, and coordinates. Node one is available at x is equal to zero. When node two is available at x is equal to l by two, total length divided by two, and or we can say that node two is available at the midpoint of the bar element, and node three is at x is equal to l. Then u one, u two, and u three are the individual displacements at node one, two, and three. So the displacement displacement in the bar is given by equation u of x is equal to n one u one plus n two u two plus n three u three. Right, it is equation number one. <coughs> Then this displacement u of x is represented by the polynomial 
Joseph is equal to 3, 0, plus 3, 1, x, plus 3, 2, x, square. Since there are 3 nodes, now to 10 quadratic equation, or u of x is equal to 3, 0, plus 3, 1, x, plus 3, 2, x, square, where 3, 0, 3, 1, 3, 2 are the constants. Now, for the boundary conditions, to find this 3, 0, C1 and C2 at x is equal to 0, U1 is equal to C0 and at x is equal to L by 2, U2 is equal to C0 plus C1 L by 2 plus C2 L square by 2. Similarly at x is equal to N, U3 is equal to C0 plus C1 L plus C2 L square. Solving this equation for C0, C1 and C2, we will get u of x is equal to 1 minus x square by l square into u1 plus 4x by l minus 4x square upon l square into u2 plus in again 2x square upon l square minus x by l into u3. Comparing this equation with displacement equation in shape functions, we will get n1 is equal to in bracket 1 minus x square upon l square, n2 is equal to in bracket 4x upon l minus 4x square upon l square, and n3 is equal to 2x square upon l square minus x upon l. These are the polynomial derivatives for one dimensional bar element and quadratic bar element. So, so we will go in a previous we will go in previous slide the shape function uh, for linear bar element is n1 is equal to 1 minus x upon l and n2 is equal to x upon l means Consider the example of temperature distribution in a copper rod if the one surface has a temperature of 300 degrees centigrade and another surface